so when we look at rural sanitation or sanitation in census towns uh, which are smaller towns uh, i'm not talking the mega cities and the metro metropolis of uh, you know few metropolis that we have uh, we need to have different strategies uh, 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 for building toilets you know in the, in the rocky mountainous regions of uttarakhand uh, himachal uh, in the desert regions of rajasthan in the gangetic plain uh, of bihar and uttar pradesh uh, in the mountains of the northeast in the coastal areas of orissa and andhra pradesh for each of these we probably need to design toilets differently uh, because the soil is different uh, the kind of foundation that we need to build is different uh, the water levels are different in certain places the ground water is very low and uh, so it may be possible to have a soak pit or a septic tank without any fear of contaminating water that may be used uh, by people for drinking or for irrigation uh, but in other places like uh, bihar and up and parts of madhya pradesh uh, parts of tamil nadu and karnataka where the water table is really high uh, one needs to ensure that uh, there is proper containment one needs to invest Uh, in the substructure as much as in creating a beautiful and inviting superstructure to enable people to uh, be uh, to 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 change their habits uh, their older habits of maybe uh, answering their ablution in the open to answering it in a sanitized clean uh, space uh, but as much as we invest in the superstructure uh, which is a safe private space uh, to relieve oneself we also need to contain the waste hygienically we need to ensure that there is a sanitization below the ground below ground and uh, that the pathogens are destroyed and the pathogens do not uh, leak into the water system or into the nutrition system or into the food system so that is something that needs to be absolutely ensured the other important things in design of toilets is to ensure uh, that the toilets can be well ventilated uh because uh, the rural people who are going to be using toilets for the first time often complain that uh, they cherish uh answering nature's call in the field because uh, they have a sense of open air and they feel free and and uh, the toilets that contractors build are suffocating and uh, it 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 just does not go yeah so that's a typical problem that the rural person uh, faces rural people spend most of their time outdoors they sleep outdoors uh, uh, with a cot and maybe a mosquito net Uh, so they love uh, ventilation so are we ensuring that the toilets that we are building are well ventilated uh, are we ensuring that there is a nice flow of air are we ensuring that there is some natural fragrance uh, that is there in the toilet so all that is essential because probably the user uh, his current pattern of, uh, of of doing his ablutions is getting something from that experience because of which he or she is a little reluctant to shift into a closed space which seems to smell and which seems dirty and he seems or he or she seems to be making a statement that i don't want to go to the same dirty place twice yeah so that is a behavior issue that we need to look at more about the behavioral issue a little later so we need to look at uh, what kind of technology what kind of materials what kind of design of toilets uh, are welcoming for people who are used to another kind of behavior so ex- understanding existing user behavior and understanding elements of how some of those elements of that behavior can be retained in the new structure uh, are also important instead of saying that uh, uh, we should shame people and uh, we should trigger certain kind of uh, uh, new behavior we need to also appreciate understand dialogue with why the old behavior uh, before uh, getting a transition to a behavior change so so technology and design uh, technology of treatment extremely important design of the superstructure and the user interface of the pan uh, ease of maintainability of the pan usage uh, usage of minimum water for cleaning the toilet uh, ensuring minimum water availability ensuring that there is uh, water to wash hands after toilet use are all important uh, parameters that we need to look at there are many 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 uh, uh, agencies which are working on toilet design in terms of uh, uh, the substructure in some terms of the biodigester or the septic tank or the leach pit or the twin pit or the soak pit and we need to understand that we choose the right technology for the correct ecological zone in india we have many different ecological zones and we need to be very mindful with respect to choose of the treatment and the containment to ensure that uh the toilet building activity results in the improvement in health and hygiene